Hi, hi guys! So for today's video, we are going to talk about yung sa Get Ready With Me Cosmetics Powder Rush Velvet Setting Powder. I'm so excited to share my thoughts with you guys, lalong lalo na. I want to answer the question if it's worth it for the price. The hell die, this is 549 pesos. So before we proceed with the review, let's check out the product itself muna. Alright guys, so ito ang itsura ng packaging. Get Ready With Me Cosmetics, all about that base of velvet setting powder. Powder Rush Velvet Setting Powder. So I don't know bakit wala ang salitang Powder Rush on the packaging. And then, uh, ano ba yung makilang mo makita sa packaging itself? Yung product description, long wearing setting powder na merong velvet texture, skin blurring effect, and merong ingredients that help with oil control. It has light to medium buildable coverage and can be used alone or as a setting powder powder over foundation. At makikita nyo dito yung skin type. And dito na rin yung mga ingredients. So in case you're allergic to something, i-double check nyo dito. And then, and dito yung instruction on how to use it. And then, wag nyo kakalimutan i-mark yung date kung kailan nyo binuksan yung product itself. And of course, this is animal test free and vegan. And then, ito yung parang kanilang main selling ingredient, yung uh, squalene, kaolin, and calamine. Squalene, if I'm not mistaken, is for hydration. And then, yung kaolin, I think ito yung main ingredient for the oil control. And then, yung calamine. Calamine lotion, di ba, yun yung parang pang anti-itchiness or anti-irritation. So, I don't know if that's the same purpose for this one. Para hindi ka, wala kang, ano mo yun, irritation na mararamdaman whatsoever. Okay, so pagbukas mo, obviously, in-unbox ko na siya. Ito yung magiging itsura niya. Really, really nice uh, packaging. Minimalist, white and gray. And then, pagka-open mo, ito yung uh, puff. And then, over here is the product so this is 10 grams made in China. Now let's talk about the shades you guys and thank you so much uh, Get Red With Me Cosmetics for sending me three shades. So guys, um, mamasyal na lang kayo sa iba't iba mga content creators kung ano mga shades na nakuha nila. Just in case wala dito sa akin yung shade na babagay sa'yo. So honestly you guys, ito yung moment na when I wish ko sana meron a physical shop yung Get Red With Me Cosmetics because take note um, you really have to watch kung ano available shades sa mga content creators because it's so hard to base it sa photo lang. Sinabi naman nila yon na there's going to be a difference with the photo and the actual product because of the lighting differences and whatnot. So this is the eight shades that they have and you have to take note of the undertone. Dapat by now, alam mo na kung neutral ka, kung cool or warm undertone. Now, based on what I got, unahin natin si Nutmeg. So, this is Nutmeg on natural lighting. Si Nutmeg daw ay medium beige with neutral undertone. And then, eto si Nutmeg sa photo. So, oh my god, you guys, as you can see, mas dark siya sa photo compared sa um, actual product, actual shade. Also, guys, wag nyo kakalimutan, pag binili nyo, you have to scrape off the top level by gently rubbing the top layer parang ma-break in niya siya minention nila yon dun sa ano nila dun sa product description sa Lazada so this is nutmeg i hope nakikita niyo nang bongga bongga and then ito si nutmeg with ring light or beauty light next up we have linen Linen is light golden beige with warm undertone. Ito ang difference niya kay nutmeg. Mencho mas ma-orange nga etong si linen because it's warm undertone. I don't know if you can see, pero if you can see yung parang mal mala yellowy yellowy part, that is linen. So this is linen in natural lighting. And then ito si linen ng my ring light, beauty light. I hope you can see! Ito pala yung difference ni linen sa photo. So, medyo close, no? Mas uh, saturated lang yung sa photo. Biscuit. So, biscuit daw is medium beige with cool undertone. Hindi ko alam <laughs> kung makikita nyo. Sorry guys, it's so hard mag arm swatch na powder. But I hope you know, kahit pa paano may konting tulog. So this is um, biscuit in natural lighting. And then ito si biscuit on ring light, beauty light. So those are the shades that I got. Now the question is, kamusta naman yung performance niya in action? 
Alright guys, so for yesterday, I uh, used the All About That Base Concealer in number 12 beige as my sort of kind of uh, foundation. Half of my face lang yung nilagyan ko ng uh, foundation concealer base and then the other half gusto kong testing it ng yung powder lang. And then I used yung white concealer, yung OO Milk, as parang brightening uh, effect. Came with Cambot. And then for my... Uh, Contour, I use your number 33 Tofi, yung concealer na all about base na rin. And then, uh, ayan na, ina-apply ko na on the other side of my face, yung pure powder lang, powder rush lang, no base whatsoever because I wanna see ano rin ang itsura niya kapag yun lang yung ginamit mo at hindi lang, you know, pang setting powder lang talaga. And now, I am using yung powder rush to set yung my uh, foundation concealer base side. And you know what? First impression, ang ganda ng finish niya. It has this uh, blurring effect nga of a powder. So, ito yung side na my uh, foundation and powder. And this is the pure powder lang. Diba? And then, gamit ko yung uh, milk tint in macchiato for my lips. Funny thing that I did, tinry kong kumamit ng uh, milk tint on top of the powder and I guess you guys, uh, gamitin yung milk tint before the powder. <laughs> Alright, so that is the wear test, you guys. Now, before I proceed with the review itself, let me just set my face today. Hindi ko pa siya nasi set ng bongka bongka. So, this is my face up close. I'm using a fluffy brush. So, ito yung wala. Ito yung meron. Okay, so right off the bat, makita niya naman yung blurring effect, like the powder effect. Kasi syempre, pag walang powder, it looks really, you know, natural and like your skin, like my skin. Pero syempre, pag nilagay mo ng setting powder, it will definitely have that a little bit of blurring effect. Hindi siya yung parang like filter filter, face filter on your camera effect, but it does have a little bit of blurring effect. Pantayin na natin for today's video. Okay, so tanggalin na natin sa listahan ng mga questions natin kung meron ba siyang blurring effect. Because it does have a very slight blurring effect. Hindi niya mabubura lahat ng texture on your skin. Pero ho, ano yung effect niya pag naglagay ka ng, you know, setting powder? Mawawala yung dewiness, mawawala yung uh, oiliness, if you may. Yung shiny, shimmering, splendid. It will definitely set your makeup or your base kung meron man. Honestly, long wearing naman siya to some extent. I tried to go out to test the product. Kung ano magiging effect kapag, uh, you know, pinawisan ako, nahaggard ako ng bongga bongga. And take note, kakapit siya sa mask ninyo, just like any other powders, you know? Lalo na kapag uh, na-moisten na or pinawisan na kayo ng bongga bongga. Unless it's translucent, but then again, factor then your foundation or your base or your concealer nilagay mo sa face mo. Ah, uh, hindi ko siya na sagad to full blown though. Like you, bong araw na sa under the sun, the commute here and there, back and forth. Now it did say na water resistant siya, not waterproof. Take note, water resistant. Ibig sabihin kapag ka pinawisan ka, like natuluan lang ng ganyan, that's okay, you're fine. Kapag nagmoisen, nagmoisen, nagmoisen parin naman yun dito ko. It didn't say na hindi ka magpapawisan or or what, pero 
Pinawisan pa rin ako, but then, solid pa rin naman siya. Buo pa rin naman siya. Hindi siya yung parang, alam niyo yung kapag ka, kunwari, pinawisan ka or umiyak ka, halata yung dinaanan nung, <laughs> halata yung dinaanan nung luha mo or nung pawis mo. Alam mo yung meron talagang uh, streak na ganun. With this one, wala ako napansin na ganun. So, that's a plus point for me. Pero again, it's water resistant, not necessarily waterproof. So, pag naulanan ka, nang wala kang dalang payong, I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> but aside from that, yung overall look niya, yung overall patong niya, I really like it. I mean, it's wala ako masabi, it is maganda. Pero syempre, I don't think ito lang yung makakatulong para hindi ka mag-oil up. Kasi napansin ko, nag-oil up pa rin yung um, nose ko over here kung saan may side na may foundation. Pero yung side na walang foundation na powder lang yung ginamit ko, um, okay pero na siya. Hindi siya ganun ka-oily. So again, hindi lang basta yung powder or setting powder ng pagbasihin mo. You also have to take note of the foundation you're going to use and your base itself. Kung ikaw ba ay nag-oil-free primer or, or whatever. Pero overall, look niya on my face. I really love it. At ayan na, umuulan na. Pero ito nga ang tanong. It's uh, $549. Is it worth it for the price? Okay, ganito. Real talk lang ah. If you need a really nice setting powder na you can use every day or almost every day, worth it to. Masusulit mo yung $549 mo kasi magagamit mo siya every day. At doon mo makukuha yung benefits na meron sa kanya. Yung squalene, kaolin, and and the calamine, yung mga skin-loving ingredients na yun, makukuha mo yung benefits if you use it everyday. Pero kung ikaw, ay hindi ka naman araw-araw nagpa-powder, hindi ka naman araw-araw uh, nagme-makeup whatsoever, and occasional ka lang nagme-makeup, I don't think you should go for this one. Hindi magiging sulit yung 549 mo kasi bibili ka nga, pabubuksan mo siya, magra-run yung shelf life niya, but then hindi mo naman siya araw-araw nagagamit, so hindi mo makukuha yung skincare benefits, Tapos, at the same time, baka makalimutan mo pa siya. E, paano kung marami ka pang mga setting powder na hindi mo nauubos? So, wag na lang. Real talk lang. Huwag mo nasayangin yung pera mo kung hindi mo rin naman siya gagamitin everyday. Pero if you're a makeup artist, or if you use makeup everyday for work, or you know, just love putting makeup everyday, sige, go for it. Kasi masusulit mo yung 549 mo if you use it everyday. Pero to be completely honest, marami na akong powder na experience na, you know, same effect, na mas mahal at na mas mura. Pero ako, personally speaking, for someone like me, na marami pang mga setting powder and uh, powder foundations in my collection, tapos hindi naman ako everyday uh, gumagamit ng foundation, uh, mapapaisip pa ako if I'm going to buy a, I'm going to buy this powder for 549. Um, Eh, hindi naman ako everyday, alam mo yun, foundation so wala naman akong kailangang iset everyday. At the same time, um, in my preference, in my uh, makeup choice, hindi ako ma-powder. Pag ito ginamit mo on its own, um, honestly, sakto lang siya. Kasi honestly, maganda siya. Maganda yung effect niya, but it's not something I've never seen before. You get what I mean. <laughs> Another factor that you have to consider kung worth it ba to is your skin type. Kung ikaw ay oily or combination, go for it. Pero kung ikaw ay normal to dry, then you might wanna think about it again. But plus, with my lifestyle, I am more of a you know dewy finish kind of girl. So that's another thing na kailangan mong i-consider. Your personal preference when it comes to the finish of your makeup and your uh, makeup lifestyle. And by the way, kung pipili kayo ng shade, you guys, don't get the exact shade of your skin tone. Ako personally, with setting powders, try to get a, a shade lighter. Para meron kang, alam mo yun, meron na rin brightening effect. Lalo na kung ikaw yung tipo na nag-oxidize yung uh, foundation sa'yo. If you're acidic, so try to get a shade lighter than your... Uh, our real skin tone. So yeah, that's it for today's video guys and thank you, thank you so much sa Get Ready With Me Cosmetics and of course kay May Layug for again including me to, you know, get to try your products. Congratulations, Dai. Mm -mm. Hindi, honestly, hindi ko na-expect na maglalabas ka ng powder. Pero thank you so much. Alam ko, uh, when it comes to makeup, si May talaga yung parang, alam mo yun, kalabanin ang mga oils sa face. So for the oily girls out there, you might want to check this powder rush from Get Ready With Me Cosmetics. Again, congratulations, Get Ready With Me Cosmetics. And to May, go girl. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.